Hey guys, let's quickly sum up all the things we're going to talk about in today's video. The Royal Monetary Authority of Bhutan and Ripple are collaborating to test CBDC on a private blockchain. MetalPay has partnered with Rails Bank to launch its crypto payment app in Europe. Suex, a cryptocurrency platform, will be sanctioned by the US Treasury for its alleged role in ransomware transactions. PayPal introduces a new digital payments app that supports crypto cryptocurrencies. In the latest sporting partnership, Crypto.com joins forces with the Philadelphia 76ers. And finally, after much wait, Robinhood has confirmed that it will include a crypto wallet to its app in October. Coming up first, Ripple, a supplier of business blockchain and crypto solutions for cross-border payments, announced today a partnership with Bhutan's central bank, the Royal Monetary Authority, to test a central bank digital currency CBDC on Ripple's CBDC private ledger. The RMA will employ Ripple's sustainable blockchain technology to explore retail, cross-border and wholesale payment use cases for a digital gultrum in stages building on its present payments infrastructure. This will help it meet its goal of achieving 85% financial inclusion in Bhutan by 2023. RMA's dedication to establishing a safe and reliable payment system has solidified its position as a financial innovator. The Global Interchange for Financial Transactions system, which facilitates the transmission of high-value and bulk payments, was implemented by the Central Bank in 2019. It also works in conjunction with the government's Electronic Public Expenditure Management System to simplify government and banking operations. Moving ahead, Metal, a blockchain-based crypto payment service, said today that it has formed a new agreement with Rails Bank to offer its Metal Pay app to the European Union. Rails Bank is a London-based bank that provides banking as a service to a restricted group of financial institutions worldwide. Metal gets the opportunity to provide services to customers across the European Union while keeping its headquarters in the United States by collaborating with Rails Bank. Metal will also be able to expand into other areas in the future, such as Australia and Asia, thanks to its relationship with Rails Bank. According to Metal team, gaining access to Europe is a major step for Metal as a company and part of our long-term strategic vision. Our focus has remained to make cryptocurrency easy and accessible to as more people as possible than ever before. For that reason, we've turned Metal Pay into one-of-a-kind app that allows users to buy and sell cryptocurrency for 1% fees or less, trade crypto for another crypto, send crypto to other users for free and make fiat payments to friends. Coming up next, the US Treasury Department intends to impose sanctions on cryptocurrency exchanges that aid in ransomware attacks. Suez, a trading platform headquarter in the Czech Republic, is said to be the first firm to be sanctioned. Suex is accused of supporting activities in involving illicit revenues from at least eight ransomware versions, according to a recent report by Deputy Treasury Secretary Wally Ademo. Furthermore, he stated that illicit actors are related to 40% of the exchange's recorded transactions history. Suex would no longer be allowed to conduct business with US organizations as a result of the latest development, as Americans are typically prohibited from engaging with sanctioned corporations. New guidelines from the US Treasury department on how victims are connected and companies should disclose ransomware attacks and fully assist with law enforcement as quickly as possible was also released. The US government is adamant about not paying cyber rams ransoms or extortion demands according to the report. Moving ahead, PayPal has now launched a new financial application that will make cryptocurrency services even more accessible on its platform. PayPal has released information on the initial version of its digital wallet and payments app, which includes a slew of new financial functions. As stated in the announcement, according to the press release, the new app includes a personalized dashboard of a customer's PayPal account, a wallet tab to manage payment instruments, and direct 
direct deposit, a finance tab that includes access to high yield savings and crypto capabilities, and a payments hub that includes send and receive money features, international remittances, charitable and non profit giving, bill pay, and a two way messaging feature to send notes of acknowledgement after peer to peer transactions. PayPal Savings will be a high yield savings account created in collaboration with Synchrony Bank. Customers in the United States will be able to use this service in the coming months. Coming up next, Crypto.com will launch a non fungible token NFT series for the club as part of the agreement, and players will wear the company's patch on their jerseys. The cryptocurrency platform will also offer talks at schools in order to educate Bitcoin enthusiasts. 76 hours preceded of business operations, Chris Heck said, Crypto.com will be knitted into the fabric of our brand and together we will redefine the landscape for how crypto is incorporated in sports. Meanwhile, Chris Marzelek, co-founder and CEO of Crypto.com, said the 76 hours were a natural fit for the company's world-class portfolio of sports partners. Although this is Crypto.com's first NBA relationship, the platform has agreements with a variety of clubs in a variety of sports. Crypto.com established a collaboration with the NHL's Montreal Canadiens in March. In July, the platform extended its winning run by collaborating with the Mixed Martial Arts League Ultimate Fighting Championship to have its emblem appear on fighters' uniforms. The collaborations have continued to come in since August, notably with Italy's Liga Serie A, Formula 1, soccer club Paris Saint-Germain and gaming squad Fnatic. Crypto.com's agreements with sports companies now amount to more than $400 million, according to sources. Coming to today's final news, Robinhood, a trading software, has started a waitlist to test a crypto wallet where customers may store their tokens. According to a blog post published on Wednesday, Robinhood expects to begin testing a digital wallet function on its app in October, which will allow users to transfer and receive bitcoins. The move may encourage more Robinhood users to utilize the app for crypto trading since the program presently only enables users to buy crypto using US dollars and trade on the platform they cannot deposit or withdraw in crypto. The digital wallet will not support any specific tokens, although it already offers commission-free trading for Bitcoin, Ether, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Bitcoin SV, Dogecoin and Ethereum Classic. The wallets will contain security features like identity verification, multi-factor authentication and email and phone verification, according to the firm, to keep funds secure from hackers and other threats. The trading software saw a rise in popularity early this year owing to ordinary investors from Reddit buying Doge to try to drive up the price on a weekly basis. So that's all for today. Join our Telegram channel for free crypto signals, visit our blog linked below Below for guides, reviews and tutorials and subscribe to the channel for daily updated crypto news.